How's it going guys and welcome back for a brand new video here on this channel. One thing to say before you guys are flaming me in the comments, Factions is coming very, very soon. And there's more about that in the end of the video, where I talk a little bit more about my recent series on Ostia and what I think about it, and pretty much just my personal opinion about it. And no, anything I say in the end of the video about Ostia is not something that I got paid to say, so please leave that out of it. Thank you. But alright, we are here on Skybox on the cast room and we're gonna start up a few episodes right here and if i like it i'm gonna go ahead and continue i know a lot of you guys have been asking for a little bit of skyblock and here we are i would have preferred to start with faction videos before i started on skyblock but it is what it is but how about we just get started on our island if we do is create we should be able to get ourselves a little island right here and i'm pretty sure we're gonna go with an earth themed island and nothing really uh, yeah so we're gonna go with earth theme right now let's go ahead and see so we got 2.5k in the balance zero mob card, zero tokens and yeah absolutely nothing so let's get started on doing some skyblock things the first thing i might want to do is use my kits do i have a good kit i do not even know guys i do not even know what i got i'm pretty sure i got kit youtuber maybe uh kit youtuber we could spell it properly there we go no it does say i have the highest kit available so let's go ahead and run that and see what we get do we get any money no not at all we do get some good swords and stuff like that we can use but all right guys let's go ahead and get this away because my plan for today or at least most of today is going to pretty much make as much sugarcane as possible and the first step to that is getting rid of this entire island and what is more satisfying than getting an entire time lapse of me removing thousands of blocks All right, guys, it's been about one and a half hour and I am finally done mining my entire island. I did spend a little bit of money on the haste too, so it went a little bit faster. But here we are and now we're ready to get going. I am pretty sure that the first thing you should stick to is doing sugarcane. But while I was working on my island, I quickly discovered that if you just let yourself fall down to the void, you actually get teleported all the way up to the nearest block. So I'm thinking if there is a way to manipulate this to make some type of automatic sugarcane farm or just do something with it because one thing is making money while I'm online the other thing is making money while I'm technically offline and uh, well pretty much AFK so give me like a second here to think this through try to build something and uh, see what I come up with Oh boy, do I have a treat for you guys. I actually figured out how I could automatically harvest sugarcane. And on top of that, I've been spending some money on my creeper grinders right here. And as you can see, it has two right now. And I'm pretty sure I AFK'd it for quite a while. So yeah, I almost got a dot full of that bad boys. And uh, I pretty much grinded all my way up to this tier. So if you do a slight shop, we can go into mob spawners. You can see that I unlock these right here. The next one is going to be 20,000 mob coins. But I'm going to get to that. All of that was possible due to this sugarcane farm that apparently works completely fine on this server. Of course, until they fix that. This one here has made me absolutely millions overnight and let me go and show you guys how exactly it works as you can see there's a lot of redstone involved into this machine so i'm gonna go a little bit slow but also a little bit fast because we kind of don't want this to be the entire video but all right so let me go ahead and show you guys we have multiple sections of redstone right here and as you can see this one here goes inside the cactus farm i'm going to show you how all that works but all right there's multiple sections and every section has the exact same as you can see so the section goes from this right here and down to this block so this section right here is one entire layer of sugarcane so anyways let me show you guys how this works so this over here is uh, pretty much a level that keeps a certain redstone signal going unless it gets a different signal the top blocks right here goes into let me show you guys some pressure plates down here that when you go over them let me show you guys what i mean right here if i can actually fit in so i had to put the, the, the trapdoors right there to 
what's it called, make sure that I get into the right line. But all right, so now that I give that one a signal, it should close this one like that. There you go. And that is this clock right here. So this right here gives a signal to up here that changes the clock, changes the whetstone block over to the other side, closing the pistons. And the entire idea of this is that as soon as I go through this right here and I, I get spawned up right here and it drops me down and then I automatically go over and harvest this, then that one right there opens, leading me to the next one that is freely used right now i did a few tests right here so it should actually have been blocked off but i'm going to show you guys so if we go through all of these right here and i'll just click this one again all the way through all of these and let me go through the last ones right here and one more i'm pretty sure we're down yep there we go and now all of them is open. And when I get to the last layer of the sugarcane, I go over and click on that one and all of them just completely closes. Every single one of them closes up and uh, it teleports me to the top again. So when I go through right here, and of course, all this right here is remaining while my Minecraft is completely frozen. So I hold W and D, or sorry, A and left click. So that's what it's gonna be like this boom go through that then the next time i go through i'm gonna go down to this one mine all of that and then of course this one here opens up down to the next one boom just like that all the way through everything and all of this is possible because as soon as i spawn over there and i go through all of this i'm gonna go ahead and force myself down to the void and it's going to teleport me exactly right here in the exact mark i had my mouse which means i can specify exactly where i want my mouse exactly where i want like what height and everything and it spawns me down and then of course i keep continuing forward and forward and forward and just like that all of it is possible they are using i wouldn't say the old version of skyblock void system but yeah it pretty much uh, allows me to choose where i want to respawn if i fall to the void so yeah that is pretty much it but all right so now that that is explained sorry about that i also placed a spawner generator that i got from the server to check out right now if we go into storage we got a rapid spawner and a pig spawner i'm gonna leave that in for right now and uh yeah so let's go ahead and sell all of this over here as well this is probably gonna bring me a lot of money sell all that gave me almost a hundred k guys almost 100k and that gave me 68k almost enough to buy another quiver that is going to cost us 2 million i'm pretty sure if you do a slash shop we can quickly test that and there you go so 2 million for that one and blazes is 1.5 million but they give the same amount of map coins emerald sells for a lot more than blaze watch so yeah there you go that that is pretty much how that goes so that is how far we've gotten off camera i'm sorry i didn't show you guys but it's a lot of grind to get started one thing i need to look into as well is of course a cobblestone generator because you can make money off that as well but for right now this is what i got i need to come up with a design for uh, what you call a cobblestone generator so i will be right back all right guys it's been about one hour and as you can see i got a little bit more money from the sugarcane farm while i had to eat but all right guys i'm pretty sure i found a design that i'm gonna go with i'm not gonna lie to you guys it's probably one of the most commonly used generators you can possibly find on every single skyblock server so that's the one we're gonna roll with this time you can also still make this fully automatic i'm not sure if it's allowed but it is possible but anyways this is pretty much how it works you just go underneath here and you mine all the way up and of course it's supposed to be a lot longer this right here is just a little model of what we're gonna do and uh, that is pretty much it now i'm not sure if it actually makes a lot more money than sugarcane but i guess we're doomed to figure that out one thing i do want to see if uh, i mean if those uh, let me see right here if those chunk hoppers can actually pick up the stuff that we mine so let's go ahead and place one right there and come on and i guess we're gonna try to place it over here there's already a chunk hopper in that place well it isn't all right let's see let's go drop these is it in there it is all right so we're going to make this quite far up and uh, hopefully it will be able to make us a lot more money than we are right now if we do uh, is upgrade though we can actually upgrade the cobblestone generator which is most likely going to help us quite a lot i'm not really sure it says current level lock so what if we click on it oh okay so i apparently just upgraded it well i guess we're gonna use this then so yeah this right here is the model i'm gonna go all the way up to skylib and make the right one so i'm gonna need to place some blocks all the way up there but all right without further ado let's go ahead and have a nice neat little time lapse of me a bit building this godly generator.
And just like that, the generator is done. Now, I did take it for a spin, so it's going to see how much we actually made. I did it just enough to fill up all the chests. So if you take a full inventory and do sell all, that is 8k. That is actually not that bad. I'm pretty sure this right here already now makes more than my sugarcane farm. But of course, my sugarcane farm, we could literally just go AFK and make a bunch of money. As you can see, I kind of split this up. So each of these are chunk hoppers and each different chunks, just one storage makes it, well, a little bit easier. So I guess everything that's left to do is just kind of sell everything right here and uh, see if the rule says anything about making all of this automatic. If it doesn't, then I'm pretty sure this is pretty easy to make fully automatic as well and it's even going to be way less redstone if any at all to make it fully automatic but all right guys i'm gonna go ahead and quickly switch it off right here and see what else we can do on our island today i'm pretty sure the rest of the day all i have to do is just kind of like sell everything on my island buy more spawners and that is pretty much everything that we can do for now so without further ado let me go ahead and cut it right here and get back to work or get back to mining in our cobblestone generator it's been a few hours since the last clip, and as you can see, I have uh, increased my balance by 3.8 million. Top of that, I got a lot of tokens that we can upgrade with right now. I think the one we're looking for is getting either token faster or getting more cane. I think the one we're going to do is uh, get token faster because I assume you're going to be spending a lot of time doing this. So I got a uh, level three in uh, getting token faster. I can't be asked to pronounce that. But all right, guys, let's go ahead and uh, sell all the loot that we got from our creepers. It's been AFKing for a very, very long time. So let's do sell all and we can continue doing this. That is beautiful. We should have enough to get two more creepers now. And of course, we've got a ton of spawn in here let's see so we got two rabbits we got two chickens we got one cow and we got one pig all of them is useless so i'm gonna keep it in there but let's go ahead and uh, buy two creepers right now so that's one that's two and that is pretty much everything we can get so let's go ahead and get those plays that brings us to a total of four creepers one cobblestone generator one automatic sugarcane farm and that ladies and gentlemen brings us to the end of this video hopefully you guys enjoyed it and if you did make sure you smash that like button comment down below use my ip to connect to the network and i guess i'll see you guys very very soon but before we completely end off, I'm going to talk a little bit more about Osti, and that is coming up right after this clip. But thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and all of that, and I'll see you next time. All right, so it's about time that we get to talk about Ostia. And uh, to be honest, I haven't had much to go for. There haven't really been a lot of announcements in the Ostia Discord. So I don't know if what I got told is the entire truth. So I just want to say that before we continue with this conversation that I have no idea what's going on. There has been no announcements. I've heard nothing from the owners about these subjects that we're going to talk about. So take it with a grain of salt. But yeah, let's go ahead and dig into it. So apparently from what I heard, the first Ostia map under the new owners didn't really go as as well due to the fact that a lot of the plugins that was provided for that map was not working at all and we're talking absolutely everything anything from shockwave pickaxe to trade tools to previous admins still having perms and all of that stuff but the new owners got apparently told that it was 80 percent done and there's only like small issues that they needed to fix and that was pretty much it so it came as a surprise for them at least that's what i heard that it came as a surprise for them about all of the things that needed to get fixed and so on and so on and to be honest, in my mind, let's not go ahead and blame the new owner for what happened with the old Ostia plugins and just try to look forward on everything. I really want to go back to old factions and that is actually one of the reasons that I choose to play on Ostia. Because let's be honest, I had a ton of fun on Ostia and I have about 100 episodes on Ostia already to prove that. But whatever or not the old owner of Ostia screw the new owners, I do not know. And to be honest, I don't really want to go into it too much, but I just really wanted to make a small clip right here because this is actually the first, I guess we could call episodes in some time because I've been on vacation. And to be honest, I do think that you guys at least deserve a little bit of Ostia news. Even though I've been told most of the stuff from the players, let's just hope that, that some of it is at least the truth. But yeah, that is pretty much it. Thank you guys again for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe to my channel and all of that good stuff. Oh yeah, make sure you use my IP to join Chaoscraft as well. That would really help out this series. But uh, alright, thank you guys so much for watching and see you guys next time.